Hey guys, today we're talking about cavus feet. Hey everyone, it's me, Dr. Noreen, your resident foot and ankle specialist, and welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, so what are cavus feet? Cavus feet is basically the medical term for someone with a high foot arch type. So you guys, what are some causes of cavus feet? Uh, some people are just born with high arches and that's totally natural but there's also a neurological component to having a high arch sometimes people with neurological disorders can have high arches so for example someone with muscular dystrophy polio cerebral palsy charcot marie tooth those are just some examples of neurological processes that can lead to you having a higher arch now if you were born without high arches and you're noticing as you age that you're, you are starting to develop higher arches, you might wanna see a neurologist and just get everything checked out to make sure everything's okay. But other than that, if you're born with high arches, totally normal and just some people just have high arches. So how do you tell if you have a high arch? A lot of people will be sitting down and they look at their feet and they think, oh, I have an arch because they see that curve on the bottom of their foot. But actually, the real way to tell whether you have a high arch or not is actually to stand up. The way you tell your arch type is by weight bearing or putting weight on your feet, basically standing up and seeing what your feet do then. But another key thing is you don't want to look down at your feet when you're trying to figure out what type of arch type you have because that internally rotates your tibia and causes you to pronate and causes your arch to flatten out. So what you want to do is like maybe stand in front of a mirror or have someone else look at your feet and kind of like keep your head straight and just use your eyes to look down and see what your feet are doing. If your arch is falling in, you likely have more flat feet, but if your arch is staying up and you see some space between the floor and your arch, you probably have a higher arch type. You have to be barefoot when you're doing this. Standing straight up right, and don't look down at your feet like this when you're doing it because it's gonna make your feet more flatter than they are. And I'm just gonna walk up closer to the mirror so you guys can see my feet. But basically, I'm standing straight up and I'm just gonna look down with my eyes only, okay? And what I'm gonna do is you wanna make sure that you march in place for a few steps and then you kinda just stop so that you stop in your natural stance. And you guys, if you can see my feet, so I hate this stupid scar, but whatever, ignore that. Look at the inside of my feet, right? So this is where you guys wanna look. When I look at the inside of my feet, both of them, as you can tell, they're kind of falling right onto the floor, right? There isn't any, you don't see a curve, you don't really see an arch, they just look really flat. And that's because my feet are flat. The other way you guys can look at it is if you turn sideways, right? Now you can see that I do have a little bit of an arch right there, just very slight but my feet are still pretty flat. So the closer this inside part of your foot is to the ground, the more flat your feet are. Now, if you're someone who has more of a higher arch, you're gonna look a little bit something more like this, right? That uh, I'm forcing my foot to have an arch right now, but it's going to look more like that where this arch will be much more pronounced. And you guys, this, will not be touching the floor. Whereas if I go into my natural stance, I now touch the floor. So do you guys see that? This is what your foot will look like if you have an arch, if you have a higher arch, that um, curve right there. But if you have flat feet, now I'm just going to relax and go into my natural standing position. Boom, it falls completely down. Because I don't have much of an arch, it's pretty much touching the floor. See so you guys. That was just a quick little information on cavus feet and high arches and things that that can, that can cause and how you tell if you have a high arch. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stretch and subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.